Hi, this is WordPress Hodo, the Ukrainian guy who will help you with your website. You can ask me for help by email in description under this video. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and click like. Ok, today I'm going to show you how to use the dynamic content feature in Divi Theme. Yeah, in Divi Theme you can program dynamic content without any program language. Imagine it. Ok, I'm going to show you how to use it in the... Mm, as example, I will create the category page, the custom category page, yeah, for our blog post. So, I already created the blog post, which looks like this. Here we have title, here we have image. I already created category title. And, uh, yeah, you can see category page looks like this right now. I created category with category description, so no need to waste time on it. Create custom category page. We go to our WordPress dashboard, DV, Dimi Theme Builder, and add global, build global body. And uh, we need to build it. Okay, so let's set posts. Uh, no, block. Yeah, right. Okay, we use block, posts only for current pages. The post content and design should be great. Okay, great. So uh, I don't want by admin by uh, the sole content elements. Um, show author, show date, show categories, right? Okay. So we have image, title, and category. Oh, right. I want read more button I like read more button um, show read more button yeah great no much design uh, so after we should add some title for category which will be title like oh no sorry text which will be just text element I move it here okay now I want to be some thumbnail here and title here. Uh, let me check one thing. Like posts, categories. Can I add image here or no? Okay, uh, this doesn't support image. Doesn't matter. Okay, now we have text which can we can write here as usually category title. But it doesn't work. It means we need to create. A unique category page for each category because title will be different. Yes, yeah, so what we do, we just use dynamic content like this small item. And you, here you can see a lot of options. You can use post title, post excerpt, post publish date, like you can program all you want, custom fields. And in my case, I want to use category title, which is post archive title. Your dynamic post title will be here. Yeah, uh, you can write before and after. Um, right here. Let's make it h1. h1 close tag. And I want to make it center. I want to make it white. Yeah. Now I want to add background. With dynamic background. So we go to section settings ground go to image and here is the same dynamic content so we can use feature image and it should fetch image let's check how it works i will show you more uh, cases how to use it but let's check how this one works so this is what we had before and this is what we had now unfortunately we don't have any five featured image but title is here um let's check um, if we can add uh, featured image okay we can't then we will just use some um, default background so you can see the result ground image the way this one and use this one save okay the result should be with okay so as you can see we are on the category uh, which is like this category title we added before and this title appear here let's add new category 
add new category new car oops it's post uh, new post let's create post new post featured image will be like this and category will be new category category yeah click publish publish okay save and let's open our category page maybe categories and where is it where is it i think i didn't save it right yeah it's uncategorized let's change and uncategorize it so the new category title okay go to categories and now we can re see you oops okay so you see the category we just added is the new category title the category we added before category title we added before so this title uh, changes dynamically it uh, depends on what we need okay but uh, you can use it in many many cases so for example you want to create the, a single post page yeah uh, so we have our post let's create um, build new template for posts yeah for posts and let's delete it oh actually i need okay for posts uh, we have our post so let's check how it work with dynamic content here so this one is uh, this one will be post title because we use for post this template right now you see post title will be here uh, this block we doesn't don't need uh, here we can add dynamic image which will be post uh, background so we can just delete it or oh, post uh, featured image i'm sorry and feature image okay here we should add a post we can use the post title with a featured image with all info like i don't know if i need it because we already used featured image title i don't need actually title too because we just added it so i need content post content and we have post content here okay let's check how it works on front end so let's add some content because i don't have it or am um, some narrator and let's open it let's add some content all right and i want to change the featured image so you will see the difference let's use our beautiful fox yeah i love this fox and let's uh, open how this page works so um, here it is okay great you see the background you get got all information from the featured image the title get information from post title and this is post content okay understand if I change post, I wouldn't be able to add a featured image as background so easily without this uh, dynamic content. So I'm pretty sure you should understand how it works now. It's very useful, by the way, for posts. Like you can add here some text, and this text should get post after, for example. Yeah. Click save fresh page and after is admin and before you 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 want before to write something like uh, post after let's check how it works you see and now this item will be static same for all posts and this will be dynamic unique for each posts and fetch info from your posts right okay i hope this video helped you so that's all not sure what else uh, to say for you there are a lot of useful cases 
but it's totally dependent on your task and uh, on your skills. I really hope this video helped you to learn a bit more and it will help for development your website. If you want to say thank you, you can buy hosting on Bluehost with my affiliate link. Bluehost is best hosting and I really enjoy it. And you can find my affiliate link in the description of this video. Or you can send me some donation, which you can find info for uh, in the description of this video. So thank you. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.